I often look at science as a religion, you know, because it has all of the features of a religion. It has a metaphysics, it has an origin story, it has invisible beings that control all things. You know, we call them force and and photons, you know, and bosons and things like that. I mean, these are basically the names of invisible spirits that the priests tell us exist and the priests can communicate with using their special holy instruments, you know, their microscopes and all that kind of stuff. That religion, like any religion, is also related to a state of being human. And a religion that says that what you are is a separate individual, separate from each other, separate from the universe, interacting with it through force. Like, that is actually a pretty dispiriting religion. You know, and it goes along with an economic system, for example, in which more for me is less for you, uh, where competition is baked into the system. Um, it goes along with a paradigm of illness that says health is a matter of winning a war against pathogens. So you can see how this religion has infiltrated every aspect of life. And because it is associated with a state of consciousness that we are now evolving past, the religion also is becoming obsolete or it's transforming. It's not that, you know, science is wrong or science is obsolete, but it is undergoing a metamorphosis right now. And and what we've been talking about, you know, the, the book Order Out of Chaos that I read when I was 22, that is part of this metamorphosis. Um, everything that's coming into science now that says, oh, hold on, actually, it's not a reductionistic, deterministic universe. Uh, the cells of your body, they know what to do, even if they don't have instructions from command central. Right. You know, all of the cells in your body have the same DNA. But they know, they know what to do depending on where they are in the body. Like, there are no right. instructions in your DNA that make your face look similar to your father's face. You know, there's not like there's a blueprint in there. All it is is a, a bunch of, uh, you know, it's DNA that codes for proteins and that codes for turning on and off other DNA. It doesn't say, uh, you know, make a square jaw. Yet, somehow, all of your cells know how each one of them knows what to do that it ends up that you look like your father and your mother. So there are these tremendous mysteries that that are impenetrable unless we take on a new religious idea that intelligence is inherent in all things. <laughs>